Hey there everybody, this is Adam with your, as promised, weekly update from my Inspire sleep device surgery. Uh, for those of you who may not have seen previous videos, I had a surgery called Inspire to implant a device uh, to aid in sleep apnea. What it is, is that uh, there uh, is a device that was surgically implanted into my upper right chest uh, that controls an electrode that comes up into the base of my tongue at the hypoglossal nerve to stimulate, it senses when I take a breath, and stimulates that nerve to push my tongue forward while I'm sleeping and open my airway, uh, my airway every time I take a breath. Now, um, today I am one week past my surgery. Uh, my last video, I was the day after my surgery and I had uh, still the steri strips and things in place on my sutures. Those have come off now. Uh, they did shave my chest, so that's all itching as the hair is growing back, uh, but the incisions seem to have closed. I have here, I'll show you. Uh, this was at the base of my neck uh, here, about a two and a half inch incision uh, there. It's healing up just fine. I do have the option as a man to grow my beard and cover that scar. And I usually have a beard anyway, so it'll be covered. Unfortunately for most of you ladies, you won't have that option, uh, but it is a scar. Um, there are a lot of things you can do to minimize those scars, vitamin E and those things, vitamin E and those things. Um, I don't care about that. I've got scars everywhere, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, as I said last video um, that I did, I had uh, some problem with my lower lip not working uh, exactly the way it should. It's not numb, I can feel it, but it's just not moving the way that it did before my surgery. I talked to my physician uh, yesterday at my uh, follow-up visit from the surgery, and he said that he had a very difficult time getting through the muscle here uh, that he had to go through to get to the place where he needed to put that electrode, um, that there was a lot of scar tissue. I haven't ever had any injury on that side of my neck. I did have injury on the other side, uh, so I don't know what's causing or what caused that scar tissue, but he said that he expected that it would be much worse because of the amount of trauma that he had to um, cause trying to get through that muscle. Uh, but he said that hopefully, um, as I continue to heal and swelling and all continues to go down, the function in my lip will come back. If it doesn't, I'll learn to live with it. Um, it's not really that bothersome to me, but he said that most people um, do not uh, have uh, lasting effects from the uh, uh, surgery as it relates to trauma to that nerve. So hopefully that will get better. Uh, again, this is one week past my surgery. I'm doing well. I feel fine. Um, I'm slowly getting back into normal with as far as activity and those kind of things. Still kind of being easy um, as far as using this arm for heavy lifting and those kind of things because I don't want to damage anything. So I'll probably take it easy with that arm uh, at least until I go and get this activated on the 24th of March um, this month. Um, I'm still going to continue to do an update. If you have questions, I would love for you to ask me in the comments on this video. If you know somebody that might be interested in the Inspire Sleep device or who has expressed interest in it and wants to know um, the experience of someone who's done it, um, I'd be glad for you to share this video uh, with them. Uh, I want to just help anybody that I can help. So if there's somebody out there that could get benefit from this, um, I would like to share my experience, good, the bad, or the ugly. Um, I will be honest with you and tell you if something's not going the way it should be going. But so far, so good. I appreciate uh, you watching this video, and I'll come back in a week with another update, uh, and I'll try to answer any questions that you pose on the comments here, I'll try to answer those uh, with my next video one week from today. God bless you all, and I hope that you have a great week. It's a beautiful day outside, and I hope you've been able to enjoy it.